yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Worst Epic Gamer, and uh, welcome to the official awakening of our brand new hero here. Driller is about to be awakened today, guys, and I'm super excited about this one because I had a choice between Zem and Driller, and I went with Driller first because I had a good feeling. So let's hope my feelings don't let me down, all right? So this is going to be pretty awesome. As you can see, I already finished part number one because I had a Celestial Potions and so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and just jump on to part number two and get going with this uh, Driller Awakening here. Let's go! Here we are, part number two, Dwarven Forge, guys. I've already done four times. And today everything is open, so let's go ahead and sweep two more times here. And we got the Mystic Ruins, which we do not need at all. All right, perfect. Let's head back. And here we go, complete, complete part number two. Give me part number three. And uh, without anybody dying. Awesome. And you know what would be awesome? If I drop an egg. Now, that's the new thing, guys. If I can drop an egg, woo, would that be cool as hell? Let's go auto fight this because I think this should not take too long. And this is still stuck in Chinese. What the? I, I'm pretty sure I am doing these too fast. The game can't keep up with me, guys. I think I'm doing them way too fast because they haven't even translated the translations yet. And I'm already almost done with this because this came out Thursday and today's Saturday. So, wow. Fast as hell. Driller, I can't understand you. But either way, let's go ahead. Let's finish this off. Come on. Ah. I hope this puts Driller back into the meta, guys. I think she could be very useful. I mean, she's got some really cool abilities, which uh, we can check out a little bit later on. But yeah, I really hope that uh, this Awakening puts her in the meta game because it's going to be pretty awesome. A driller in a battle is already tough to beat as it is. But I think with this Awakening, she could be a really useful hero here. So let's go ahead. Let's head back now. And complete! Let's see this transformation! <laughs> yes! That looks awesome! Oh, wow. I love it. I think it's pretty sick. Alright, so she's come out of her driller. But damn, that looks so much better. I love that. Okay. Let's see the card here. Yes! Ooh, very nice. All right, so this is a big improvement. She just looks like a heavy metal suit now. Unbreakable. Yeah, you cannot just even touch her armor now because it was already pretty good. But look at the big difference. Whoa, wow, that's a huge difference in armor there. So pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So let's go ahead, guys. We've unlocked the ruins for her. And also, uh, heat shield has been unlocked. So let's see what exactly this does. Whenever the steam released by Driller's ultimate comes in contact with enemies, the Driller will regain a small amount of health. Hmm. And then if you get the skin, it's something else, right? So let me go ahead and work on this a little bit here, guys. Just a little bit here. All right. So at this point, she will regain 880 health. Hmm. That's okay. It's not a significant crazy amount, but will it be a difference in the battle? I am not sure. So what I'm going to do now is let's go on and take a look at the next part we're going to do. All right. First things first, let's go into the forge, auto forge for the basic amount here, just for a quick increase in stats. Come on, let's go. So if you guys don't already know what Driller does, guys, she's a utility unit. She does... Um, She's able to drill underground and come to the opposite, uh, to your opponent's opposite side of the field and do some damage from there, which is uh, a lot like Volko, a lot like Tanya, those kind of heroes, which is very, always, those abilities are always really, really important, all right? They really change how a battle is going to go. So any, any hero like that is pretty important. So we'll take a look and see exactly uh, how she's going to perform here. So if you unlock physical armor plus 30, the first one, the second one is max health plus 900 and the last one is physical attack plus 150. So pretty good. Nice uh, little bonuses you can get from this one. Anyways, let's go on to a battle guys. All right guys, so here we are in our arena battle here. This is from like one of the top five spots. I think it's for third place here. So let's see how this driller performs in our actual arena battle here and see if she's changed a little bit. So let's go ahead. We're getting slammed here. Volko already took out Magnus. That's not good at all. And we are already stuck in sand. But it looks like Jeweler is hanging pretty tight in there, man. She's actually not lost yet. So that's actually pretty good. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much damage she's doing. And with this kind of an opponent that I'm facing right now, uh, Jeweler doesn't really do too much because his, his um, heroes already jump around as much as they do. It kind of really negates my Driller a lot, but... 
Either way, I think she's doing pretty good. She's hanging in there pretty tight, and she hasn't died yet, so that's actually a good thing. Wow. So maybe... Oh, there, there she go. Dead. But the problem was she was overtaken by Orkan, which meant my heroes attacked her, which is pretty bad. Kind of unfortunate for her, because I think she was doing pretty good. And if she had gotten her ultimate off, I think she would have regained some health as well. So overall, not bad. Not bad showing. I don't know how much damage she did, but let's take a look. Because right now, Petros is the god, and everybody else is just mortal. And yeah, so pretty much not as much damage as you would think because she's not really a damage dealer, but a distraction in the battlefield nonetheless. She hanging pretty good. She hung in there pretty well, so I'm not too disappointed. Overall, not bad, guys. All right, guys, so final opinion of our girl Driller here. Um, I am so so about Driller, right? I'm not, she's not all of a sudden, a, you know, a, a top tier hero, I don't think. I still put her tier below, you know, top tier, but... She's definitely usable. She's not going to be doing the most damage in the battlefield. You know, let's not kid around. Even though a lot of her abilities are damage dealing, I don't think that's really what she's about. Her armor plating is actually pretty good because the lower the health, the more her damage increases. So that's good. And then with these two abilities, if you can get both of these, I think she will be a lot more useful in the battlefield. But as of right now, I think she's okay. Um, I'm going to work on her a little bit more and... Also, check me out on our live streams and you can see her, you know, a little bit more in action, all right? But for now, I'm going to end this off here, guys. I hope you enjoy Driller and I will catch you guys on another Soul Hunters Awakening. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out.